Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Everyone, welcome to the show. So 72-year-old Oath Keepers member and Ohio resident Benny Parker was just sentenced for his participation in the Capitol attack. Um, as I've mentioned before, I'm not going to bore you guys by repeating all of the details shared in the trial. If you miss those videos or if you want to go over it again, um, I covered everything from day one of the trial. You can find all of those in a playlist I've created on YouTube. It's the Oath Keepers trial playlist. It's on Raw News and Politics on YouTube. Um, of note, though, with Parker and his wife, Sandra, they took weapons. They took three weapons with them to the area. As with the other Oath Keepers, they stashed them at a hotel across the river from the Capitol. And other members were waiting with these guns to receive word. You know, if they encountered trouble, like if they were being fired on, the people at that hotel were planning to head over to D.C., head over to the Capitol with all of those guns. Um, so this was referred to as their quick reaction force, in, in, like I said, in case Capitol Police opened fire. And at the trial, Parker lied about his intention behind taking an AR-15 with him. He tried to say that it was for target practice. <laughs> so that was just one of many false statements that he made while he was under oath, according to the prosecutor. Um, but I should add that Parker was one of the few Oath Keepers, Benny Parker, who didn't enter the Capitol. So Parker was arrested on February 18th of 2021, and in an eighth superseding indictment, he was charged with conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, obstructing an official proceeding, conspiracy to prevent U.S. officials from discharging their duties, entering a restricted building or grounds, and in March of 2023, after a multi-week trial, he was found guilty of conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding. That was the one and only thing. So he was looking at up to 20 years in prison, three years of probation, and 250000 in fines. As with the other Oath Keepers cases, the judge overseeing all of these cases was Amit Mehta, and I couldn't locate any details about what was said at the sentencing hearing for Benny Parker, but Judge Mehta sentenced him to only five months of probation, as with his wife. I'm assuming, I couldn't locate the details, but I'm assuming he also was given the one year of home confinement, as she was. So I'm not going to continue to harp on how egregious of a violation of law I believe this to be, but... You know, I guess we know now, right? We, we now know that if our candidate loses in 2024, I guess we can take weapons to nearby hotels. We can take part in a conspiracy to stop the certification of the vote, you know, to try to prevent Donald Trump from being put in office. And, you know, thanks to Judge Mehta, now we know there's no consequences. As long as we're not the quote unquote leaders of the conspiracy, we won't face any consequences. It's totally cool, you guys. That's what they're telling us. So, you know, this is what I mean about weak judges installed by Democrats. Meta is an Obama appointee, and he's handing out weaker sentences for some of these people than Trump appointed judges are. It's obscene, it's crazy. And this is totally out of character, too, for him. So I'm not sure what's going on, but somebody needs to look into this. Anyway, I will let you all know if I hear any more, if this is appealed. Let's hope that it is. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Please become a donor if possible. Love you guys. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon.